Hello everyone. I am Sudipti Dandapati. Hard work combined with smart work may fetch greater desired benefits. A student who has set Amazon as her height of aim is now with us to share her feelings, thoughts and some her some of her personal reflections on her campus recruitment process. So let us now interact with Sri Kruti and try to know her uh, deeper insights into her uh, placement experience or placement preparation. So she may offer greater solutions and suggestions to the juniors, to her juniors especially. So let us invite and interact Sri Kruti to this session. Thank Hello. you, ma'am. Hello, Sri How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How about you? Thank you. I'm good. So, uh, it's our, actually, it's a great uh, experience to interact with you because this would really help uh, young, enthusiasts and passionate learners who would love to achieve their goals. So, hope this, uh, you know, interaction would help uh, your juniors too. Yes, right? Sure so, you. can you introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Shikriti from CAC. I'm currently doing my fourth year uh, and I've been working as the vice chair of IEEE IEI Society and I've also been a outreach and media lead in the Code Chef IRE chapter and in my first year I worked as a coordinator for Street Calls. Right, so that's uh, a short and sweet introduction about yourself. Right, so what's your domain? Can you uh, throw light on this? What's your domain and uh, what's your uh, specialization in, in engineering? Sure, ma'am. My domain is uh, co core computer science and engineering. Uh, in computer science and engineering, it is mostly about the software and mm -hmm. the technical aspects of your entire mm -hmm. IT industries. Mm -hmm. uh, I, get, I got to learn many new concepts uh, mm -hmm. apart from just programming or uh, the basic uh, programming skills and stuff mm -hmm. so it, there's a lot more about CAC that is uh, basically not known to everyone mm -hmm. they always think it is just the coding and the programming aspects mm -hmm. but it is way too beyond just that you have your hardware software everything like your computer mm -hmm. networks your mm -hmm. operating system there's mm -hmm. a lot it's like an ocean of knowledge right so uh, you know from that pool of knowledge I think you have achieved a lot Right. Can you uh, talk about the company you got selected for and uh, some details on your package? Uh, yes, I got selected for the Amazon, which is a product based company. As uh, everyone might have come across Amazon in their daily life, just like for shopping, online shopping or your echoes, like the IoT system exactly. that they are using, the surveillance cams mm -hmm. and your delivery services, yes. etc. There's everything. You just name it and there's Amazon everywhere mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. your cloud computing, mm -hmm. your storage, just for your delivery to mm -hmm. doorsteps. Mm -hmm. It's everything. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you want to say it in a short way, mm -hmm. Amazon is entirely a product based mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. And it gives me immense pleasure in getting selected there mm -hmm. because Amazon has always been my dream company mm -hmm. and it's always for everyone in the mm -hmm. Fang and Mang companies, there's always Amazon in the list. Mm -hmm. So obviously when I had that dream and I'm very happy that I got into that. Mm -hmm. That's really, uh, we're very really, really glad to hear from you Shruti that you got selected for it and I think that's been a great passion for many young enthusiasts especially engineering graduates so that's really nice about it so now, now how do you feel uh, right now as a as an achiever uh, as I've already said, it gives me immense pleasure. All my parents, my friends, everyone whom I know and whoever knows me, they're very happy, they're very satisfied for mm -hmm. me because they have always been with me in all my hardships mm -hmm. and all my preparation mm -hmm. and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Especially my mom, she's like on the cloud nine now. She's on the cloud, cloud nine. So th that is a very fulfilling and satisfying experience that you have given. Right. Now, uh, can you talk about the process, like recruitment process and how many levels were there when you attended and can you give in-depth uh, details of this recruitment process? Sure, ma'am. The first part uh, was the online round. 
uh, where you were given uh, different questions on your computer science fundamentals, just like MCQs types. Mm. And there was this one programming question, mm. uh, which was kind of easy to medium mm. level, mm. Uh, easily anyone mm. can solve mm. it. And Amazon is more of your role based kind of mm. a company where it focuses more on your kind of role that you want to choose. Mm. So based on the online assessment that we attempted, mm. they they shortlisted us uh, into three different mm. roles. Mm. So I was selected as a quality assurance engineer okay. uh, along with an internship of six months that was okay. allotted to me. Okay. And after the online assessment, there was the technical round. Okay. Uh, the first technical round was entirely on programming and the role based questions mm -hmm. and after the first round uh, I got to know that uh, I qualified it and I'll be able to uh, compete for the next technical round that was round two and mm -hmm. that was a final round. Mm -hmm. It was same exactly as mm -hmm. a technical round mm -hmm. one where they asked uh, the mm -hmm. programming questions and the role based questions. Mm -hmm. So there was uh, kind of no HR because we already interacted a lot with the interviewers. They were really mm -hmm. very fr friendly with us. Oh. And they had really, we had a really great time talking to them. That's good. Oh, so this happened before your technical interview that you got to talk to them or only uh, after? Only in the technical interview. First, they introduced themselves and mm -hmm. we were asked to introduce about ourselves. Mm -hmm. in the, and in the end, mm -hmm. uh, most of the companies asked if we have any questions for them. So mm -hmm. the same went with Amazon as mm -hmm. well. Even they asked us any questions like from our mm -hmm. side to them. Mm -hmm. So it was a good interactive mm -hmm. session with them. I got to know more about mm -hmm. Amazon mm -hmm. uh, from the outside world. That, that's really good and maybe uh, you know this would have given you uh, I think a great experience yes, actually. Sure, maybe definitely. because the world you know before you attended is, is would be very different yes. and again when you attended this so now uh, could you talk about some uh, significant questions uh, as you mentioned some questions were on programming coding so could you talk about those questions which you think you can highlight them yeah, uh, basically I was selected for the quality assurance engineer. Mm -hmm. So this role is entirely for software testing, mm -hmm. only for software mm -hmm. testing. Uh, so when your software developer is going to develop the programs, mm -hmm. it is a software tester who is going to uh, search for the bugs and mm -hmm. any other changes that they mm -hmm. want to uh, meet the requirements of the customer. Mm -hmm. So it was entirely role based questions were mm -hmm. entirely focusing on mm -hmm. the software testing mm -hmm. side. And highlighting the questions, uh, they asked more about the scenario based questions. Mm -hmm. Like they were giving the uh, real world scenarios mm -hmm. like take, an, uh, take a login page or take any other page in Amazon mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. or uh, just a text based uh, chat program like your uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, anything. Just take those scenarios like your real time scenarios mm -hmm. and how would you test? If you were a tester, mm -hmm. how would you be doing it? How would be you assuring the quality of that particular product released? Right, right. So more situational questions, yes. I think. And, and also pragmatic questions yeah. where you would uh, try, uh, you know, with them in your real uh, life world. So that and how long uh, did it did you take uh, and what was the duration of it overall? Uh, the first technical round went for like forty minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it was both from the introduction mm -hmm. till the end. It was forty minutes mm -hmm. program, and the second round took uh, almost one hour. Almost one hour. So total time was about two and a half hours. Or yeah, if you include the online assessment as well, then you can say three hours. Three hours. Okay. Right. So, written test and, the, and then once you got qualified, you right appeared for another level of yes. uh, round of uh, interview. So, uh, that's good. So, now, uh, in addition to what you've already mentioned, were there any separate sections or any, any type of interview that you had to go through, especially when you attended this Amazon? Uh, yes, ma'am. Firstly, I would like to thank IRE for giving us the mock interview mm -hmm. experience before going to the actual Amazon mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. uh, we had this mock interview scheduled mm -hmm. uh, before uh, three, four days mm -hmm. and we were allotted our slots. Mm -hmm. The mock interviews conducted helped a, a really very much to all of us mm -hmm. because they were asking the different programming questions mm -hmm. they know the level uh, because people who take mock interviews are mm -hmm. uh, known with the level of questions mm -hmm. that they'll be asking in mm -hmm. the product based companies mm -hmm. so the same experience we got from the mock interviews so that really helped me a lot okay good so uh, maybe do you remember the training you got from cdc ire helped you achieve this could be technical or could be uh, non technical 
Yes, ma'am. Again, uh, it's a very big Thanksgiving session for the IERE for giving us that such a uh, amazing training. Mm-hmm. Uh, they covered all your CSE topics along with programming, aptitude, verbal, and whatnot. Everything that is required for your interviews and placements. Mm-hmm. It's not just Amazon. Mm-hmm. If you have this proper training, you can crack any company mm-hmm. you want. Just be focused, dedicated enough, and trust yourself. That is what you should do all the time. Uh, so, so that's our motivation also play i mean that that's very crucial i guess like in your thing in addition to the placement training that you've received from cdc ira no are you aware of the role that you've been offered or like uh, do you get to know the role or like you you're already aware of the role for this select i mean uh, company got selected after giving your online assessment only then you will be knowing your mm-hmm. role that you got selected mm-hmm. through until then you don't know which role are you applying for mm-hmm. based on the uh, well, questions that you attempted and what kind of questions mm-hmm. you got right in the uh, online assessment mm-hmm. based on that you will be getting your roles so if you are very good at your dbms and sql you would be offering the data mm-hmm. engineer mm-hmm. if you are very good at software testing software mm-hmm. testing methodologies mm-hmm. and your product based things you will be given your quality assurance engineer role okay okay quality assurance engineer yes right were you aware of this role before you attended uh, no the interview ma'am. no, no. Mm-hmm. So now are you excited for that? Yes, I'm definitely I'm very excited, especially for the internship because the internship mm-hmm. is a uh, very uh, it's a part deciding mm-hmm. factor that we get after our engineering mm-hmm. because that is where you get to know the and explore the real world mm-hmm. the real world situations mm-hmm. or the problems and how better can you make your uh, solutions mm-hmm. through using your computer mm-hmm. science domain mm-hmm. how easily can you make it for the customers mm-hmm. available. Mm-hmm. Internship plays a really important role in that. That's true. Uh, certifications and internships, I think they would add uh, extra flavor to what you have already, you know, got it for yourself, right? Uh, uh, Sri Kruti, uh, can you talk about? Uh, uh, th- 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 this is uh, a really a crucial and significant question, I guess. What do you feel about the resources that you used for your preparation, especially you know for hitting that success? There are plenty of resources if you go online. Uh, just Google anything and you get exactly what you want. So mainly I focused. Uh, mainly I use is uh, Geeks for Geeks, mm-hmm. Code Chef and Code Forces. Mm-hmm. Uh, Code Chef and Code Forces are the places where I did my contest, weekly oh. contest, monthly mm-hmm. contest. So these contests help me a lot in knowing what kind of competitive questions mm-hmm. would be uh, being asked in mm-hmm. the uh, interviews mm-hmm. or in the online assessments mm-hmm. that are taken before. Mm-hmm. And Geeks for Geeks was a platform where I could learn new things mm-hmm. like the concepts of your fundamentals like mm-hmm. CSE, operating system, mm-hmm. computer networks and everything related mm-hmm. to CSE, everything is available on Geeks for Geeks. You get a really good information there and there were videos as well attached mm-hmm. to the information mm-hmm. that helped understand even more clear because visualizations is always better than true. study. True. Pictorial vis- visualization yes. is very important. Right. So, in addition to that, the books or website, database, whatnot. not? Uh, books as such, uh, as I mentioned, the CDC training mm-hmm. from IERE, they already gave us few materials mm-hmm. that were based on C programming mm-hmm. language, aptitude, mm-hmm. verbal. Mm-hmm. So, those materials were uh, fairly enough for mm-hmm. doing all those things. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, also with your uh, websites online, mm-hmm. both helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. So, if you had to... Uh, uh, you know, you know, given uh, points like what uh, was the chief resource? Could, uh, or was it a website, or was it a particular course, or certification, or any platform that you would really want to rate? I mean, awards that you really want to. Some suggest. actually speaking, you cannot choose between uh, things because at some places you find really good information, and some places there might not mm. be. So be very focused in what you want to. Uh, first thing, make your mind very clear that what you want to learn for today or what exactly your question is. So be very clear in your mind and then search for the resources that would be help. That would be really very helpful because in a confused state of mind, if you search for three four resources, you might get confused. Mm, that's uh, absolutely that's true. So how would you rate your performance in the interview? Uh, I would out of ten, I would like to give myself a nine. Because wow. I was fairly enough in talking to the uh, interviewers. They were very interactive from their pa- part of uh, thing. So that 
I love the, their mentality of receiving the freshers mm-hmm. in such a nice way uh, gave me a really good boost in talking to them, getting to know new things from them. So yeah, I would rate myself a nine. Uh, in a certain because this was my first interview mm-hmm. on campus mm-hmm. interview, I was a bit nervous. Mm-hmm. So I did my mistakes here and there. They were very silly mistakes, but the interviewer didn't let me down. He just pointed out the places that I must go and look for again. Mm-hmm. So he was very supportive. I would really thank him in mm-hmm. uh, guiding me mm-hmm. at that point of time mm-hmm. where I'm getting interviewed. So that was really good experience, I would say. A big shout out. To uh, Sri Kruti because she, I think, almost nine was her uh, I mean, rating uh, point that she would, uh, you know, uh, ready to give. That's really a confident uh, uh, touch or note I would really see in Sri Kruti. That's really good. Thank and you. how 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 were you as a student? I think as of even now you are in ac- uh, academics, yes. but still I say that you were not uh, you know involved in regular courses. Yes. So as a student, how how would you rate uh, yourself? I wouldn't say I was a very studious person. Uh, I was always uh, like before the exam, just study and uh, go mm. for the exam, write your exams. Mm. But fair enough, I used to get really good marks, so that wasn't a problem for me. Mm. I'm maintaining my GPA; it was it's above nine. Mm. Uh, so I'm very happy with my academics. But only thing I would like to mention uh, for the upcoming people who mm. want to get a uh, good placements, mm. please don't neglect your studies. Whether it might be your just English subject or your English engineering drawing or any other thing that is not related to your CSE, please don't neglect it because when you are getting interviewed, they don't just see which background are you coming from. They just uh, find, they just check for the wide range of uh, ideology that you're carrying mm-hmm. with yourself. So that is very important in your real life where you just go, you just can't go and say, I don't know this. That is, that makes a really uh, negative impression mm-hmm. on you. So please don't do that. Concentrate on all your studies, give it your best and you will surely do well. Um, th- having said that, uh, what would you say about the role of soft skills in your interview? Like, do you find, uh, do, 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 do they really help you in general at the same time for your interview? Frankly speaking, it is just soft skills that are going to take you through the interview. It is not a technical. I I don't say it's not just technical. Technical might be your uh, 40%, but the rest 60% is entirely your soft skills. Because right from explaining the code that you have written or your idea about the code, it's just the communication between you and the interviewer. So you should be really very clear in your mind before expressing yourself. If you don't know English, just don't feel that I cannot do it. Just give your best. Stay calm. Stay cool. The interviewer will eventually understand you and he'll get your point. So, it's soft skills are really very important and just don't be rude to them if they are not listening to you or something because yeah, they have their own experiences with them. So, just stay calm. Uh, do your best. That's it. So, what are your final words? Uh, at the end, I would say all the best to all the people who are giving the interviews now and the future juniors of mine who are going to get interviewed. All the best. Don't neglect anything. Just stay focused. Uh, be very consistent uh, along with your cu- curriculum and your extracurricular activities. Just don't uh, get deviated at this point of time because it is very important. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity and explain you the different recruitment, the different steps in my recruitment process that I have gone through for getting selected into Amazon. So there were basically three different rounds. The first one was your uh, online assessment, and next followed by the technical round one, and then the technical round two. So the technical round, uh, the online assessment had uh, eight to nine different sections, which were all MCQ based. Uh, they were consisting of your computer networks, big data, pseudocodes on or uh, the code snippets on Python, the data structures, databases, software testing concepts, and the software testing methodologies. And, and all these were just five MCQ based questions that had no time limit, uh, like no sectional time limit. Uh, and they were very kind of easy to medium level of questions that they were asked. And finally, there was one coding round, uh, which uh, can be attempted in any of the coding languages that you prefer. So that was uh, easy to medium level of question. And it was fairly easy enough to get it done within the time frame that they mentioned. 
so this was all about the online assessment and then after the, uh, the completion of the online assessment i received a mail uh, saying that i got qualified into uh, the quality assurance engineer role of amazon based on my performance on the online test it was amazon who selected me for a particular role that i mentioned so it basically depends on all your uh, kind of performance or the subjects that you're really good at so coming to the next uh, round was a technical round where uh, i was asked questions uh, on both the role based questions as well as the programming questions so coming to the role based questions uh, they were uh, asking about mostly the importance of quality assurance engineer or the qae like what i had a knowledge on them or what uh, the society is expecting from such quality assurance engineers and the software testers that are getting hired so the next one was describing the hdlc life cycle that is a software uh, testing life cycle so this was a more kind of uh, role based question that was asked uh, where you need to explain the different uh, phases of your software testing methodologies and after that uh, they asked me about the uh, defect life cycle or the bug life cycle as you call it uh, and then was a difference between the test case scenario and the test uh, cases as such uh, where you have to state uh, like three to five differences between the test case scenarios and the test cases uh like the definitions or differences between them and then uh they gave me certain situational based questions or the scenario based questions uh where uh, i was given different platforms uh to get uh interacted with and then uh frame the different kinds of technical uh kind of testing cases that can be applied on them so the first one was taking the phone pay application uh, that is the online uh, money uh, transfer application and what kind of test data i can mention for that application was first question in scenario based uh, questions and next comes the amazon payment gateway where i have i was asked to take amazon payment gateway as an example and then list out all the test datas that i can apply on them uh test data is basically the different kinds of you know data that you are going to test upon with that application it can be positive data or the negative data so you just uh, if you are having that question uh, asked for you just mention uh, some of the uh, negative test case datas and the positive test case datas asked and next uh, comes the two programming questions they were very they were fairly easy enough and can be done by anyone uh, so programming language was not a restriction over there you can do in python c or any other language that you are very familiar familiar with uh so the first one was reversing a given string with its words that is uh, you're given a string of words and you have to uh, reprint the uh, same string with its words as reversed ones so the next question was uh, taking two variables uh, a number variables and uh, then swapping them without using a third variable so both of the questions were pretty easy and i was able to answer all of the questions uh, to the point and the interviewers were satisfied so before starting with the technical questions uh, already the interviewer first introduced himself and then asked about my uh, inter uh, interaction my introduction so it was a kind of interactive session in the beginning for 5 uh, to 6 minutes and after asking all the technical questions at the end uh, i was asked if i had any questions to ask to the interviewer so there i asked about his experience uh, and uh, the projects that he's working on currently in amazon so he was very kind enough to share all his experiences with me uh, which gave me more a uh, kind of excitement to go and uh, work in amazon so that was a very interactive session i had with him and after a uh, uh, 40 minute duration uh, again i got a message saying that i was qualified for the next technical round that is technical round 2 uh so there was a uh, one hour uh, time gap between the first round and the second round uh so and the second technical round started this time the technical round went till one hour where the same uh the same thing happened the interviewer introduced himself and asked about my uh, interaction 
and then he gone he went through my resume and asked the different kinds of projects i did and i mentioned in the resume so we had a little talk on those projects as well and then uh, the interview was basically divided into two sections where only uh, he was asked about programming questions in the first section and the next section was uh, entirely the role based questions so coming to the programming questions uh, they were uh, like uh, six to eight questions asked to me which were very easy questions so again there is no rule or restriction on your programming language anything can be uh, any programming language can be cho chosen so the first one was uh, find the number of vowels and consonants in a string that is given to you and the second question was uh, uh, he he asked me to consider the various uh, subjects that i am having in my current semester and then uh, take uh, marks for each of the subjects and then calculate uh, its average and give the grade point to each of the subject uh, separately so that was a fairly enough easy question which i could uh, do in 3 to 4 minutes like the entire code was written in 3 to 4 minutes and explained to him uh then comes the uh, list based questions that were asked so the data structure he more focused on was list data structure or the array data structure where he asked me to uh, take an uh, take a list or an array and count the number of even and odd numbers in it uh then uh, it was taking two list the next question was taking two list and then summing up the elements of one list and then multiply it with the sum of the other list so both all these questions were very easy enough and uh, uh, also remember the point where you should interact with the interviewer even while you're writing your programs for him uh so when you're writing your programs and you have to explain it to him like what are you doing why this variable have or you have taken or what importance that the variable does in your code so explain all the method all the uh, terms in that code and if you have any other optimized solutions uh please do explain them as well and so these were the questions that uh, were asked in my programming uh, interview and next comes the role based questions even this round even this section of questions were easy enough and were more on scenario based questions so uh, he asked me to take any chatting application like your uh, whatsapp facebook um, uh, twitter etc so i uh, he gave me the whatsapp application and uh, said me a scenario that where you want to type a text to your friend or someone uh you are not able to view your uh, keyboard over there your key, uh, keyboard of your mobile so what kind of test cases will you be writing when your uh, keyboard of your phone isn't popping up so the test cases i mentioned were uh, six to seven test cases which i mentioned uh, starting from the uh, virus uh, virus attack or the trojan attack on your phone or the update uh, a version differences uh, like that so these were the points that i mentioned to him uh, then the other scenario based question was the bluetooth headset so he asked me to take a bluetooth headset and write or tell him about the different uh, test cases i would be checking for so there were uh, five to six uh, test cases that i said him uh, like the touch and the sensor of your bluetooth device must be working uh, the bluetooth must be turned on in your phone or the laptop that you are using and the connectivity distance must be appropriate because bluetooth uh, can only range up to a particular limit of distance so all these were the test cases that i said him and the last question that was asked was uh, to take it the amazon login page and there are different test cases that i would be testing on so when you take a login page or it's not only amazon login page any other login page you take it the same thing that you are going to test for like your username password uh, the string length of the password different kinds of characters you are implementing in that like your alpha numeric uh, special characters etc and the gui uh, buttons like your uh, login button sign up button etc those are the test cases that i mentioned to him and at the end uh, it was the same question asked like do you have any questions for me so i asked him again his experience and uh, the kind of uh, performance uh, he has been doing in all these years working with amazon so he was also very interactive and he shared all his experiences 
and at the end he also appreciated me for uh, being very open and uh, uh, able to answer all his questions to the point and he f- was very satisfied with my answers and finally uh, i get this message of getting qualified into amazon as a quality assurance engineer uh, so the first 6 uh, months would be your internship and followed by a full time so coming to my preparation strategy uh, it was a uh, kind of one month preparation that i did for uh, amazon uh, amazon mainly focuses on the roles that are assigned to you so always uh, keep in mind that you know which role have you been chosen for and the questions or the scenarios that you will be encountering as a role uh, when you get that role in amazon uh so programming knowledge is a must whether you may might be a software tester or the data engineer or a business analyst programming knowledge is a must in all these roles so focusing on both the brute force and the optimal methods whenever you are given a question of programming you have the brute force method or the simplest method and also some kind of optimization methods that you can solve the same question so not only going with the optimal methods do try to learn about the brute force methods and then the optimal methods along with the time complexities and space complexities so uh, i participated in many kinds of monthly and weekly contests that were hosted on code chef code forces lead code etc so these were the platforms that i did my weekly and monthly contest these contests helped me understand what kind of questions or the uh, competitive programming questions that will be asked in your interviews or in your online assessments so uh, when you uh, do not are uh, you not able to answer those questions that were uh, done in the contest ne- always remember to revisit those questions and learn how to solve them because that is that would be really very helpful to you uh, just don't skip those questions when you don't get them during the contest so the last one was never ever neglect your core subjects it is not just your uh, programming skills that would take you uh, into good roles or good companies it is also your core subjects that are very important in getting your placement so what i would like to advise my juniors is uh, be very confident in the programming language that you are cho- choosing don't uh, take three to four programming languages and you're not good at any one of them please don't do that select at least one or select one programming language of your choice and be very comfortable in uh, doing coding in that particular language so be very consistent uh, when you don't get some questions please don't lose your heart or uh, get into kind of feeling that you can never be able to code please don't do that consistently practice every day uh, taking easy questions uh, and then going to the medium and then to the hard levels so be very consistent uh, don't lose yourself at any moment of time and participate in uh, different contests uh, that are held in code chef code forces lead code and any other platform that you like to and always have uh, confidence in yourself Uh, have your hopes very high aim for your target and strive very hard to reach it it is not very uh, tough that you should you won't be able to do that it is really very easy until you are very dedicated confident and consistent enough so nothing is impossible so have a very positive mindset uh, entire like for your entire duration of your studies and all be very positive stay calm stay focused and most importantly choose your friends very wisely don't uh, make friends with those people who always have negative impression like they don't uh, support you in anything and they keep pulling you down so have those friends who are very positive mind who can encourage you all the time and talk about your positives and your negatives and help you learn and grow better with them so keep this in mind this is really very important along with the studies even your friends play a vital role in your life so coming to the interview part be very interactive with the interviewer so don't hesitate to ask him questions when you don't know anything so be very interactive with him explain your code while writing and explain the different kinds of methods that you know to solve the same question uh focus on that 
so if you don't know any question that he or she is asking you like the interviewer is asking you please do never ever uh, say directly that you don't know that question or you have never seen it just ask him or her for more hints that they can provide to you use those hints and try to solve the question interviewers are always there to help you out and at the end if you don't have any questions to ask to the interviewer uh don't say that you don't have any it is better to know about their experience working in that particular company it's not just amazon if they are from any other company just ask them their experience their work life balance or any other related things like that because if you ask this the interviewer will be uh, able to figure out that you are very enthusiastic to work with them by knowing their work culture etc so this was all about me my preparation and my advice to the juniors that's really good thanks for sharing your thoughts and reflections on this interview process thank you sri kruti uh, especially uh, the audience uh, juniors who would love to achieve your goals could be your short term goals or long term goals and consistency as sri kruti has rightly pointed out consistency along with dedication would really help you achieve your goal thank you sri kruti thank, thank you, you all. thanks a lot thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates